Many of the mysteries that have plagued us throughout the season were answered in the White Lotus season 2 finale. In episode 1, Daphne uncovered a body. Who was it? Spoilers. Tanya was the culprit. Had s been had between Cameron and Harper last week? They entered the room while intoxicated with the goal of having sex, claims Harper. All Cameron did was lock the door and give her a kiss. Ethan, Will Sharp, is not persuaded, though. However, the White Lotus season 2 didn't come to a close without posing one final question to the audience. Did Ethan and Daphne engage in sexual activity on Isola Bella? Yes, the author, writer, and director of The White Lotus gave both couples ostensibly happy endings. After promising to visit the White Lotus Maldives the following year, Cameron and Daphne are allowed to go back to their normal lives. More significantly, Ethan and Harper have sex and appear to be happy in their marriage once more. But may a tryst with Daphne on that lovely little islet be what gives Ethan his groove back? What is known about the White Lotus Season 2's final unanswered mystery? In addition to asking Quentin one last question, Tanya also inquires about Greg, John Grise. Did Ethan and Daphne have sex? We are aware of Cameron and Daphne's sexual activity. We are aware that Cameron had relations with Lucia, Simona Tabasco. We are aware that Ethan and Mia never had sexual relations. We are aware that Cameron and Harper had sex in mind and came close to doing it, but ultimately decided against it. Ethan and Harper eventually had sex, as far as we know. If Ethan and Daphne had sex, that is something we cannot be certain about. However, there are numerous indications that yes, they did. Ethan strolls along the beach after yelling at Cameron for wanting to sleep with Harper. He meets Daphne, who encourages him to have a seat. What is it? She inquires after remarking that he hasn't seemed like himself recently. You want to know? Ethan replies. Yeah. Ethan says he thinks something took place between Harper and Cameron. After a brief moment of devastation, Daphne regains her composure. I don't think you need to worry about anything, she says. She continues by saying that you can never truly know someone. She even claims that she always shocks herself. Daphne also asserts that the mystery of it all can be seductive. I think you do whatever it takes to not feel like a victim of life, she concludes, sounding shockingly similar to what she's been telling Harper all week. Daphne then gestures to a beautiful inlet not far from the beach. It looks secluded and lush. Have you been there? This Olabella? She asks. Come on. Walk with me. Ethan follows Daphne to Isola Bella. While they walk, they say nothing, but Daphne looks over her shoulder and makes rather seductive eye contact with Ethan. We do not follow them on their Isola Bella excursion, but given Daphne's speech to Ethan, it seems that they had sex so they would not be the victims. It should also be noted that Daphne is ecstatic throughout the final dinner. Being Cameron, he proposes an absurd toast to their group relationship. Harper has to control her sobs. Ethan finally has sex with Harper when Harper inquires about what would happen to them in their room. Possibly as a result of hitting his awful college roommate, sleeping with Daphne and understanding he was envious of Harper's relationship with Cameron, he appears to have some newfound alpha energy. Of course, maybe Ethan and Daphne kept things platonic on Isola Bella. We won't know. But isn't that kind of secret sexy? Even the show's creator, Mike White, isn't saying definitively. On the official White Lotus after show unpacking, White said this. Did Ethan and Daphne engage in any sort of brief liaison on the island? Whatever transpired, he is now able to let go of his long brewing jealousy of him. And it somewhat recaptures the initial sexual spark that occurs in new partnerships and occasionally wanes with time. By the conclusion, you could think, hmm, maybe all Ethan and Harper needed was a tiny bit of what Cameron and Daphne had.